Sarah, tell me around. Good, Good morning. morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy today's video, yeah. come back every day. So it's cold in Chicago. It's we're actually, 41 degrees. We were five degrees away from freezing earlier. What is this? <laughs> um, my buddy Steve, as I said, I think in yesterday's vlog, hooked me up with some new shoes, but it's never good to try new things on race day. So I'm gonna go run a quick 5K on these new sock knees. I've never run in sock knee. They are very I feel light. like I'm the mom from Mean Girls. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great, stage honey. Mom, you're stage mom with me right now? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go run a 5K, a little shakeout run, and shoe tester, all in one. James is our EDM child. Actually, it looked like he was making like a seance circle <laughs> earlier. <laughs> we, do, all <laughs> we, do, <laughs> we do we do um try to what's the word I'm looking for? Indoctrinate him with this <laughs> nightmare before Christmas. You were born on Dio de los Muertos. Shake out run completed. Trial on the shoes completed, shower completed. Gonna see if I can get this mop taken care of. It's a barber shop that opened up not too long ago. I'm gonna see if I can get a walk in before we head over to the expo. If not, it's not the end of the world. It's not cra crazy, crazy, crazy. Yes, I might still have a little bit of yesterday's lipstick on. Um, but anywho, while Peter's been out and about, I've slowly but surely been getting the kids ready for the day, myself ready for the day, getting the vlog up, um, all before we head out to the expo. Um, just want to say the thing about me is that I thrive in layers. Fall, winter, I just love clothes in the fall and the winter. And so I have my new sweater on. Collar over sweater is just my jam. My hair is finally getting a little longer. I'm, I'm kind of feeling myself. All right, we got it done. We got it done. I went to my normal barber and they're like, I was like, hey man, like you got to help, help me out. I need a walk in. And they're like, we got it at, in like an hour, hour and 15. And I was like, ah, I don't think I could do that. And this is something that I love about cities. I love about Chicago that I will miss whenever we're not here is that I looked at my phone and a block away, there were three barbers. And I was I called Sarah and I was like, I'm gonna take a walk down the street. Somebody, somebody at one of these barbers, there's three of them, gotta be able to help, help me out right now. And I walked in the first one and they're like, right, we can sit you this moment. I forgot to even text Sarah to say, I found a chair. They set, set me right away, so. We're looking good, I feel good, I feel fresh. Ready to go to the expo, so we're gonna go home. Um, game plan with Sarah the rest of the, the day because we have some friends from out of town that we wanna say hey to, we gotta go to the expo. Uh, Jenna's spending the night, so we have to like, get the apartment ready. And then I gotta make drink a lot of water, maybe a body armor or two, maybe I'll stop at 7-Eleven on the way home. Um, I'm just excited now, just excited. Um. So I nonchalantly grab a box <laughs> From our delivery on the way through the apartment and Sarah's like, is it the camera? Like, no, it's just the accessories because the accessories are supposed to come today and the camera's supposed to come on Monday. But no, this is our camera. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, is like, oh um, we need the accessories gosh. to use it because we only purchased the body. Look at this. Wait for it, wait for it. I did not expect this at all. Look at that. Sony. We haven't had a Sony since my college DSLR. Which we almost got rid of the, the lenses for, but then we realized that even though they're like old school, look at the size of that sensor. Oh, that we can actually buy like a twenty dollar converter and use Sarah's lenses from college on this camera. How exciting! James, he knows what uh, takeout bag is. Take it. Yo, we're here at McCormick Place for the Chicago Marathon 2022 Expo. Look at 
at these luscious locks. James is growing out his hair for Halloween. Are you signing all done already? <laughs> So our goals are to get our, exciting, our bib. Wait, it's our friends. You do? <laughs> so we ran into our friends, the Baileys. Yeah, run who, with me, slash just running. Yeah, slash they're, run. they, they're doing wine dine day. They're, Allison's doing dopey. Patrick is running. Oh my gosh. They're awesome. So it was so good we ran into them. What? Timing, all right, pack it, pick up. The line for Peter's t-shirt was a little long, so I'm strolling with the kids. We're gonna make our way over to ACS. I see their signage. Uh, we got participant bag and shirt pickup complete. Taylor took the kids over to the ACS booth, so I'm gonna go find them now. It feels so good to be back in a race expo. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of this booth setup they have this year. This is incredible. What? All right, Sarah's hanging out with ACS crew and nursing Teddy. Look at this cool. Countdown, 18 hours exactly, until the race begins. We're gonna go to the Goose Island tent and see about getting a beer. Then we're gonna walk around a little bit more. All right, a lot of charities here this year. It's bigger this year than last year. We got Polar Pops here, a lot of plant-based things. But we're gonna check out the Goose Island. They always bring this like CTA. They got donated, it's a CTA card that got donated to them. We're gonna check that out, see if the stroller will up be allowed in. So very cool. Got the Goose Island. So, so, so cool. Alright, got a little IPA action. We got Fleet Feet, this whole row. We're gonna see if we can find some gels because I actually could go for a couple extra Martins. I don't, I think I'm like one or two short for what I want to have on the race. Alright, we've released the Kraken. He is out. He's about to own this Expo. Michigan Avenue, heading to Water Tower Place, meeting up with some friends who are visiting. Yes, they're visiting from out of town. They're seeing Harry Styles in Chicago. They're going so. to Wicked tonight first. Yeah, right? it is. They're having a living the dream. Great Chicago weekend. Yeah. So we're meeting it's them up. It's a busy weekend for them to be here. Um, but we're going to quick see them before we head home and like rest up for the night. We just got home and we got some I Dream of Falafel for dinner. Thought it was a good a good hearty meal for Peter before tomorrow. I tried getting my lipstick off before this clip, but it did not work. Um, so we've been home. We kind of got the apartment together. Oh, you blew it out like a candle? Ooh, nice. Yay. They do look like candles. That was stinking cute. Um, my sister Jenna is actually joining me tomorrow to cheer for the marathon. She's gonna help me with the boys. Um, obviously cheer on Peter. We actually cheered her on the Chicago Marathon. What year was that? I'll put a picture and a year. So um, she's excited to be a spectator and to just help out and be here and spend the night and it's fun. It's just something different. Um, so yeah, her and Peter are at Jewel right now picking up some last minute fuel for the race, um, snacks for us. We need to go grocery shopping. So um, just a couple of things to get us through tomorrow. And then I think if 
bath night. I know it's bath night, but sometimes we can like take one more day. Um, but I don't know. We'll see if we'll do bath night and then we'll need it to get to sleep. Mom! <laughs> That's the first time I caught him doing his bluey theme song dance on the vlog. So freaking cute. It is 8.30. Should be back. We're winding down the night now. Dennis here, Jen and I went to Jewel to get some late night snacks um, for the kids for tomorrow. Also for me, just to have something to grab them and go easy on the way out the door tomorrow morning. Because I'm going to take the bus to the CT. I don't know what I'm taking yet, um, but I'm shooting to leave 5.30. Um, they're going to stay home because they're going to have to meet them closer to where we live. Like they're just gonna not gonna see me in a start like they're gonna see me close to that mile mark kind of situation. They're just goofing around the bathtub. It's supposed to be relaxing time. You found Mickey Mouse and Sebastian sticky to the wall? Um, got a Goose Island beer to celebrate tomorrow, but I got one now, you know, liquid cards. And then uh, we're gonna be winding down and after the kids go to sleep, I'll probably be going to bed. We all might be, but I definitely want to try to get to bed early -er than usual. But I also have two kids under two, so we're going to take what we can get. You know, it's not like I haven't been training with these two little guys running around and being the best thing of my whole day. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. 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 Alrighty, Peter has all of his race stuff set out and his shoes and we're going to bed at 11 which really for us really isn't bad um i'm proud of us peter is setting alarms getting situated um so i decided to just sign off um and yeah we're like visions of chicago marathon sugar plums are dancing in our heads we're so excited for tomorrow. So um, I don't know when this is going to go up, but I'll do my best to edit when Peter gets up. And yeah, I'll put every put everywhere where you can track him along the way. Such such a big day in our city and such a big day for us. Your, um, your support means the world to us. Raising money for ACS. Um, you guys have been incredible um, all the time, but especially for this race. Um, and we appreciate it so, so much. So we'll see you tomorrow. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.